just like, hey, I can pay you. <laughs> Dude, shit, I gotta put up with it. That's what you gotta do. I'll have to find your hell. When you were fine, I'm gonna make you fine. <laughs> yep. I find if they're not making fun of us. you old and shit. Oh, yeah? Yeah. If they're not making fun of us, it means they don't like us. I see that's what I was trying to tell. <laughs> he got all butter because I called him old. <laughs> I always said if I won the lottery, I'd go to school and learn how to work on cars. So I've always liked cars. I just never had anybody to show me. If I win the lottery, I've never touched a car again. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, but you made it the job. See, it'd be fun for me. <laughs> That'd be a, a fishing pole or a rifle in my hand. You won't be no damn. I call bullshit on that. You won't be no damn. In ranch or socket, I promise too. you. Do what? You got my Oh yeah. <laughs> I'll hire you as a mechanic. You, I'll bring them home you broke. Go. You fix them. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just drive them. <laughs> yeah, that's one good thing. I still enjoy shooting, so it's not. I, I, I'm sure I will continue to hunt long after I sell them. But I enjoy it. It's. I see myself in the near future sometime owning about a, a nice lot on the Clinch River with a nice boat and boat dock sitting there with my boat sitting in it all the time with me getting up every morning and going down and catching 30 and 40 pound stripers. You, you, you mean the afternoon? You don't get up in the mornings? I would if I lived on the Clinch River. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'd go with the fish for bite. Let me put it this way. At 8 o'clock in the morning or so, I'd come on in and go to bed while it got hot. And then I'd be go. back out that afternoon. Well, I mean, when you do get up at 2 o'clock, it is probably 5 o'clock in the morning somewhere. Well, I would just wait until about 8 o'clock in the morning and go to bed. I'd fish the first three hours. There you go. But then you would, would you still be nocturnal, you think? Uh, probably not if I didn't jack with yeah. this. I yeah. mean, because I'd be getting up before daylight to go hunting. I'd get up at daylight to go fishing. I'd yeah. go to bed at dark. Mean? Be like the, the normal people, then. I'll never be normal, but I'll be closer. <laughs> no, I don't. Know. Hey, everybody. Got Double Star out here today. They're one of our sponsors. Shooting some pictures of some guns and stuff I've got from them. Shooting pictures of the car, stickers on the car. See here, check out some of the gun they they built me. Uh, custom AR-10. They build knives. Custom 10 millimeter, 1911. <laughs> Another one they built. This is their what, like production, 1911. That's a PhD, yeah. I actually got two of these that match. Tell us a little bit about Double Star. They brought moonshine. We did. We brought moonshine, so you can, that's always good. Homemade. Uh, Double Star's been around for about 40 years. We are a rifle manufacturer. We also do, obviously, 1911s. We do blades now. And we do OEM manufacturing for tons and tons and tons of people in the industry. Uh, we own Ace Limited, so if you have any experience with our butt stocks, you may not know that Double Star owns that company. But we're about 45 people right now. Uh, it's a family-owned business, and we like Monza and what he's about, and he likes what we're about, so we hooked up. Pew pews and fast cars. Pew pews and fast cars. What else is there to really complain about? Nothing I know of. And moonshine. Moonshine. That's right. <laughs> right next to him, Willie. So I mean, that's, that's what it's all about. I had one gun I used for competition. I used it for five, six years. I had thirty thousand rounds through it. The barrel started to shoot out. And then we started with we got the red furniture and stuff. So I switched over because it was black before. It was actually that same handguard. That you have now, and then we switched to these. And we got the red anodized on the stock and on the charging handle and stuff. So, when I go to the matches, I'm able to lay it on the table and show it off to the shooters. And I do some little things. I like an er ergo grip better than a hogue. It's just I have smaller, my grip's smaller. Mm -hmm. And then the uh, 
K and S pins keep the hammer and trigger pin from rotating. I got one of them four five thirty six. Oh yeah. Scopes in there on a little level two twenty three. Yeah. That's the way to go. <laughs> What's up everybody? Uh, just a quick progress report here what we got going on. We got cold weather, rain for the last several days, so the black car is still sitting there. We haven't had a chance to test it at all yet. We're waiting on a break in the weather so we can get a racetrack rented and go make some 330 hits in it. Um, and I spent one full day with Double Star doing podcasts and social media stuff they're one of our sponsors so we did some promotional stuff for them to help us help them out because they help us out uh, we got steadily got parts showing up for the daily driver these showed up today got my wheels from bogart this is the front ones anybody that knows if you're trying to order wheels right now they're eight ten twelve weeks out you can't hardly get them um, I got a hold of these guys, it was two weeks to the day. They showed up sitting here at the house. These are for the Trans Am. Made in the USA. So I think with the silver car and the machine in the black, that's gonna look pretty good. Um, I'm gonna mount, got new tires over here. We're gonna mount the new, I'm gonna mount the new tires tonight. Don't pay no attention to the mess. This is all boxes of parts that have showed up in the last couple of days. We've got the rear end from Quick Performance for the Trans Am. It's a Fab 9. Uh, strange bolt through center section. Good axles. It's got the emergency brake built in, all Willwood disc brakes. Really, really, really nice setup here. Really impressed. Big thank you and props go out to Quick Performance for that. It's a very, very nice piece. Them guys have always went above and beyond for me anytime I've needed anything. They're one of the very first sponsors that I ever picked up when we started doing Street Outlaws. And they've just been golden the whole time. We got a wheel mocked up on it. They nailed it. It clears the brakes. Don't have to clearance nothing. Everything's going to be good. Four new Mickey Thompson tires here. These are the SR Sportsman's for the front. And we've got the Pro Bracket radials we're gonna put on the back. Yeah, I know, they're not street legal. Street outlaw. <laughs> um, we got parts. We're gonna do some motor work to that car before we do anything. We're putting head studs in it, new head gaskets. Um, new Morel lifters. We've got a, a new intake order coming from BTR. So the first thing we're going to do is all the motor work, get all that done, get the nitrous installed. Um, basically that's what I'm just gathering parts, waiting on the weather to break. I assembled all that last night. 
like a dumbass down there on the floor, like to kill me. I can't hardly get around today. <laughs> You'd have been easy to put it on the table. Yeah. Well, I was kind of concerned these little flimsy tables wouldn't hold it when I got it all together. <laughs> but it turned out really nice. Pretty pumped about that. That's going to be pretty pretty tough in the car. I don't think you're going to break that one. Huh? I don't think you're going to break that one. No, it won't. It ain't going to break. We put the really nice strange bolt through center section and the, the S series Posi just because it's a six speed car and we know we're going to be mean to it so that will handle everything that uh, we're going to throw at it I'm sure because you know me we could start out with a 700 horsepower car and before you know it it could have 2,000 because I can't leave shit alone <laughs> anyway that's where we're at looks like you need to burn boxes tonight tonight's going to be a a burn night. I'm gonna burn boxes since it's rainy and wet. When you live out in the country, you can't just throw all this in the dumpster. So, I mean, even John Sisney, he comes over here and works on my shit and drives off and leaves 40 boxes here for me to burn. <laughs> anyway, that's where we're at. New wheels, new rear end. Larson's getting a, a track rented so we can go test the black car and. Rumor has it, the end of this month, we will be filming racing on Street Outlaws again, so rumor has it. Nothing etched in stone, but uh, we need to get out and be tested now, ASAP. You ready to go back racing? Yeah, I'm ready. I, I want to see how well all the changes work, and I want to bust some of them's ass. Last year, not sitting well with me. There is some redemption coming. Like uh, Wyatt says, hell, hell, what, how's he say it? <laughs> hell's, or, I'm, I'm coming, coming and hell's coming with me. me. <laughs> yep. <laughs> anyway, that's where we're at. We'll be, uh, we'll be out late burning boxes tonight. Good night. <laughs>